Welcome back to Your Turn to Rant, your source for theories and analysis on non Kadai's Your Turn to Die. So I'm here with a special video today because we are going to be looking at the Steam version of Your Turn to Die, which I believe was released in February. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the mini episodes that non Kadai has released thus far. I think we've got a mini episode for Kai, Anzu, and Alice. And it has been confirmed on non Kadai's Twitter that we are going to be getting more mini episodes sometime in the future for the remaining cast as well. So I'm really excited to dive in and look at these mini episodes because I purposely did my best not to get spoiled on anything. So I really stayed away from like Discord, Reddit, anything that I thought would spoil me on this because I wanted to give my genuine reaction to everything that we learn in these mini episodes. But yeah, enough babbling, let's just jump right in. So I believe we look at past episodes. All right, here you can view some mini episodes, bonus stories featuring various main characters. They contain spoilers regarding the characters, so it is recommended you only play these after completing the newest part of the story. So as always, if you haven't completed the game up to the most recent chapter and you don't want to be spoiled on what happens, you should probably click away from this video. But I'm sure most of you who are here, you know the deal, so let's get into it. So we have Kai, Anzu, and Alice. I'm actually pretty surprised that Anzu is one of the options because I wasn't sure if Nan Kidai would give us more info on the dummies, but I am really glad to see her here because that means that the other dummies are also going to be getting mini episodes. And I would love to see them more fleshed out, especially the ones we didn't get much time with, especially Anzu because She's one of the first dummies who can actually get killed if you don't play your cards right. And as a result of that, even if she does survive, you don't really see much more from her apart from a few one-liners and, you know, comedic dialogue. Because she is another source of levity to break the tension within the game. But yeah, so I'm really excited to see what there is to learn about Anzu. Maybe we'll see her at her job, right? Um, she works as a clown or something like that, if I remember correctly. So that'll be fun. But I'm thinking that I'll go in the order that we see here. So we're going to start with Kai. And he's also another character that I mentioned before I really wanted to see more of, but unfortunately he died so early on in the game that we didn't get a lot of time with him. So let's get started. View Kai Sato's episode, The Young Assassin. Yes. Right. So obviously, we're going to be looking at his time with Asunaro and what it must have been like for him training to be an assassin. And also having to deal with his father, Gashu. Because I did see the teaser, teaser image that Nan Kadai released, which featured Kai as a young kid and Gashu. So I do know that we're going to see Gashu, but I don't really know in what capacity and for how long. Oh my. You must be a strange one to take an interest in me. Very well, I suppose. Although, I cannot promise it will be a fun story. Failure? You mean you... Correct. I failed in my mission. Obviously, this has to be Kai from when he was an assassin, but he just couldn't find himself capable of killing people. Mind if I ask you for the details? Oh, what? Mr. Chidowin? Interesting. So maybe this doesn't have to do with him killing people after all. You can tell me, Kai. Understood. It was when I was young still. Hmm, so he's kind of confiding in Mr. Chidowin about his time as an assassin. Oh my god, look at him! His hair! I, does he have bangs? No. I think he, he still has bangs, but they look a little more disheveled. Okay. 
Ugh. I wonder what he's like as a kid. I was gonna say maybe he's bratty, but I don't think I don't think Gashu would be cool with that. It appears you withstood it. Jesus! No, no. I know that um, the fandom makes fun of Gashu's mustache, but seeing him without it, I'm getting chills. Well then, Kai. Father. Well, I'd hope as much from a test such as this. God, I'm just so... Uh, I'm just so riveted by his face, like horrified. Uh, geez, Louise. Can you imagine having this guy as your dad? With how frightening he looks? I would get nightmares. Um, be careful, father. If you stay here, you'll break the, in the gas yourself. Aw, so he cared about his dad. Clearly, even though... <laughs> Let's be real, probably Gashi didn't give a shit about him. Are you belittling me? Jesus. Father of the year over here. I am your father, don't forget. You are, but... Aw, oh, look at his face. Man, this is like kicking a puppy. Gashi truly has no emotions. You need only think about your own self. Y yes, sir. After poison resistance training, we move on to shock resistance training. Jeez, master it. Just get him a shock collar. R right away, father? We have no need for breaks. Why would he need shock resistance training? Like, what is going to happen when he's out in the field as an assassin? What? I, I understand. Please let me rest. I don't want to do it. I'm a little surprised that we're getting um, options on what to say. Hmm. I feel like Kai being the way that he was in the past, maybe he would go with, I understand. I mean, these are all viable options, but let's go with that. I understand. Right away. That's what I like to hear. I mustn't complain. I have to do it. For father's sake. Oh, so he was like a daddy's boy. Jeez Louise. And stop staring at me with them big old eyes! And once you've completed your tasks, there is someone I shall introduce to you. Oh? Who could that be? Sorry, I said nothing. <laughs> I will proceed with my training. Indeed. There will also be cake. <laughs> Interesting. I don't trust it. I don't trust this cake. Cake? You wouldn't be able to taste it properly if it followed poison training, yes? So give this next training your all. Y yes, father. Oh, he's smiling. I don't trust this. I don't trust Gashu being nice all of a sudden. There must be more to this cake. Hmm. I wonder who I'll be meeting. I wonder what kind of cake. <laughs> He's the kid. And I'm wondering too. Haha, uh -huh. I wonder what kind of cake it'll be? Yeah, no. This is too happy of an occasion. It's gonna be messed up somehow. He's gonna have to kill the person or something. <laughs> Chocolate cake. Amon Blanc. Ooh, I'll have to get my sense of taste back to normal. The calm before the storm. Ooh, look at that. This is, this looks like a new background. Somewhere inside the house or maybe Asunaro headquarters, though it doesn't seem like it. It appears you've finished. Yes. Damn. Right, it was shock resistance. He must be like, his hair should be like standing on end. He should have a perm by now. Thank you so much, father. Stand on your own two feet. He looks even worse with his mouth closed. You're being watched. Don't show such miserable weakness. Huh? <gasps> Rearranger! As a kid? That's interesting. I kind of want to do like a comparison with his new sprite. I think his newer sprite or... The sprite that we know of with Rearranger um, was taller, right? So 
was he put into like like as the years went on was he made like to appear older and older kind of almost alongside Kai I guess I never really thought about whether or not Kai and Rio Ranger knew each other but it seems like they did it seems like they grew up side by side this is not looking good for Kai I have a feeling that this is going to end up in a situation where Gashu is going to be kind of comparing these two to each other and as time goes by Kai is almost going to be replaced by Rio Ranger in the sense that Rio Ranger is everything Kai should be and that's how you know Rio Ranger gets the idea that he is Gashu's son and he's his favorite whereas Kai is going to start to become the black sheep of the family anyway that's just what i'm thinking that's just my prediction for what's going to happen let's see what actually does happen sucking up huh that's a riot who are you his name is Sai. Say? I'm gonna go with Say. I could be wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Say. He has similarly undergone training by the organization, at the same age as you, and is similarly excellent. This guy excellent? You for real? What's that? Calm down, you two. Certain, cir certain circumstances have left Say with nowhere to stay at present. Now I'm wondering, was Ryo always a doll? Or, like, there's two ways this could go, right? Either Gashu is lying to Kai and saying that Sei, or like giving off the impression that Sei is a human, when in actuality he's a doll. Or, Ryo was originally a human, but at some point in life, he either got turned into a doll, or maybe he died and then they created a doll of him. That could also be possible. You know, this could be a Midori situation where little by little they kept replacing enough of him that he became a doll. Certain circumstances have left Say with nowhere to stay at present. So from today forth, I have arranged for him to become part of our family. Here we go. This is definitely going to be a competition between the two. What do you mean by that? Whoa, really slow on the uptake, aren't you? Didn't you just hear him? I mean that Sei will be your sibling, Kai. You mean... <laughs> my little brother. Don't goof with me. Why the hell would I be below you, huh? So he already has that sense of inferiority instilled in him. The superior one must be called Big Brother. Got that, bastard? Ah, that's most amusing. Father, I'm not amused. No, the eldest son must be the superior one. Become a person become a person worthy of carrying the Sato family. Yes, siree. You can count on me. Indeed. Have you anything else to say, Kai? What is going on? At any rate, you two will undergo the same training. It is a settled matter. You want us to Compete, then? Both of you, show me your capabilities to their fullest extent. I expect much of you. Gross, he's smiling now. So messed up. I can't even imagine the psychological trauma and issues that these two must have as a result of this. Gotcha, Pops. Er, old man Gashu, I guess. Y you well, that's enough introduction. Let us eat the cake. Blech. It's all tiramisu, Dad? Well, tiramisu is the most delicious. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. And I think that's interesting, even in the dialogue. Oh, I need to stop using interesting. My god. Okay, going on a tangent, but when I was editing my previous video, which was the the first part of my Let's Play series, the amount of times I said interesting, I wanted to blow myself up listening to that. It was horrible. Like, I don't even want to count how many times, but it had to have been like over 10. So I, I'm going to try and remember that. Do not use interesting. Don't say interesting. Use any other adjective 
please. But yeah, something that I wanted to point out, you can see how different Kai and Sei are. Is that what I decided to go with? Sai? Sei? Yeah, Sei. You can see how different Kai and Sei are just in the way that they interact with their father, with Gashu. Kai is very deferential to him. He's very respectful. I'm pretty sure he uses the term father with him. Whereas with Sei, he's very much more laid back and casual. He was using terms like pops, old man, dad. And I think the most telling thing was that Gashu allowed it. He's being much more lenient with Sei in a way. And I think that's also what's causing Kai so much strife now, right? Because suddenly there's another person in this family and he wasn't told beforehand. It's just kind of thrown at him, right? There is no asking what he thinks, how he feels about it. He's just expected to put up with it. And now we can tell that they have to compete for Gashu's affection, which is finite. And let's be real, it doesn't exist. But both of these kids are going to try and fight for it anyway, right? Which is gonna be real tragic, given what happens in the future. You could argue that Gashu inadvertently causes Kai's death because he's a part of Asunaro and they kidnap him because he's trying to interfere with them. And then he ends up dying in the main game. Whereas with Rear Ranger, Gashu directly kills him because he's not living up to what he expected from him. And he's actually becoming a liability. So ultimately, even though these two are going to compete for Gashu's affection, neither of them seem to realize that it's a losing game. There is no winners here, except from Gashu, right? He's the only one who wins. Both of them are going to lose no matter what happens or what they do. And that's kind of like the tragedy behind this family of sorts. But yeah, I never really thought about how Rio Ranger and Kai knew each other. And so this is really interesting to see that they grew up as siblings, as brothers. Although, you know, they definitely were not very close. Why has this happened? Did father bring in that crude boy? Because he considered me a disappointment? Aw, Kai. Yeah, he did. He does consider you a disappointment. Has he given up on me? Oh? What you moping about now? What? Say. Also interesting. <sighs> interesting. Also something worth pointing out. Kai and Say both have three letters, both end with an I. I don't know if there is that kind of similarity in, um, in the original Japanese, but it is something to look at, right? Like, their names are so similar, and I feel like it kind of parallels with how Gashu views them. Ultimately, he doesn't care which one of these two end up on top. He just wants to harness the potential of whoever it is that is the superior one. And, that's, and that is all for Asunaro, because we know that Gashu is pretty much obsessed with his job, obsessed with this organization, and willing to do whatever it takes to see it through, right? To basically achieve whatever goal that Asunaro has, even at the expense of his own sons, his own family, his own life. It seems like he puts a lot of emphasis on the Sato family and having some kind of successor, but then he's the one who ends the Sato family, in a way. Though it does make me wonder if the Sato family is even bigger than these three people. If maybe it's a crime family within Ostanaro, that could be possible, right? Um, I'll go more into the crime families and what I mean exactly once we get talking about the Hades incident, which hopefully will be within the next few parts of my Let's Replay series. We'll see. Do I freak you out that much, bastard? Where did he learn these curse words from? Who taught this child how to swear? Shut up. I'm Kai. Call me by my name. Huh? Hmm. Maybe if you call me Big Brother? Why does he say it like that? Why does he say brother? I hate it. 
I'm taller, you know. I'm stronger, you know. I'm smarter. Okay, big brother. Absolutely not. <laughs> Let's go with I'm taller. Nuh-uh. You're definitely a shorty next to me. What? I couldn't tell. Oh, Jesus, yeah. <laughs> it does seem like that he's taller. I didn't know I would pick something else. I thought that would make him mad. Don't pet me. How rude can you be? Whoa. Oh, damn, he hit him. Bastard. You gonna lash out at me? Enough. Don't come near me. Cheeky little squirt. This calls for some discipline. It's a battle, let's say. What? What's happening? <laughs> Is this gonna, uh, is this gonna be a battle of words, maybe? I hope? Uh-oh. Alright, let's see. Kai, attack. Oh! Say is stronger than him, right? Kai's attack and health is only one, and Say's attack is two, and his health is three. Hmm. It almost seems like Kai is not going to win. He just gets one hit and he's over. You attack his head? You little... My turn. He didn't get to do anything, cool. Attack his torso? Oh! What? Not bad. I don't know how this works, okay. Ugh, oh, damn it! Oh, this is over, girl. Protect my legs? Oh no! Damn it! That, that would be too hard to win, right? Because it just takes one attack and it's over. Ugh, I don't like it when Rear Ranger wins. Guess that's all you got, huh, little bro? I'm gonna reply? You gonna call me Big Brother? Who would... The hell, man, you promised. Aw, I almost wish that they did get along. I don't think it would be a perfect relationship, but it would still be kind of cute. We're gonna be killers, aren't we? Ought to learn that may- Ought to learn that might mix right, yeah? Hmm. So Say is also gonna be an assassin in the future. Say. Damn you. I can't lose to someone like him. Next time I'll- What, you're gonna kill him? <laughs> Ugh. Oh, he's crying. Oh, how old is he right now? You guys already know I cannot tell. I just can't tell shit. I want to say he's 14, maybe? 10? No, he can't be 10. Older than 10. Probably 14, I want to say. That seems like the sweet spot. <laughs> oh, ho. So then, say won the battle. He was a total pushover, Dad. Um, I got one hit in, so shut the hell up. <laughs> Kai, I'm disappointed in you. You should have beat the shit out of this kid. My apologies. You must at least maintain your promise. You did promise in front of me, did you not? Uh oh. What's wrong? Something stuck in your ears, Kai? I ad I admit defeat. What? What was the promise? Am I stupid? Did I forget? Big brother. What? When did he promise to call him that? I don't think there was a promise. It was just um it was just Gasha saying that, you know, the eldest is going to be the most superior one. That's not fair, okay? We need a rematch, we need, like, parameters, we need rules and shit in place before we can decide on this. Alright? Just one fight isn't good enough. And what is up with the brother? Like, what does that mean? Is that supposed to be... I don't know, slang? Or, like, a more playful way of saying big brother, maybe? I'm not sure. Ha ha ha, sure thing. I'll forgive you. Do you feel vexed, Kai? Father. If you're regretful, then crawl your way up. But that was not yet a real battle. Oh. 
I wonder if this is going to become a regular thing where every now and then Say and Kai are going to have to fight each other in order to see who's the most superior one of them both. Hey, Dad. You got anything for me? Right. You did well, Say. Haha, <laughs> right? Aren't I the greatest? I shall prepare you tiramisu. Ugh, oomph. Tiramisu resistance training might be the toughest of all. <laughs> what is with Gachu and tiramisu? Father, he hasn't forsaken me, I'm sure of it. I need, I need to be stronger. Uh-oh. Yep, this looks like a... Oh, no, never mind. I thought that he was fighting with Say again. Please, please train me more, teacher. Hey, take a little break. Any more than this would just be. Hey, me too. All right, all right. I'll teach you if you stop glaring like that. What's gotten into these kids? Okay, I'll let you pick. What do you want to train? I want to learn. Actually, I'll sleep. That's more like me. I would just be like, absolutely not. I'm going to bed. Stamina building, maybe? Stamina building. Okay, stamina building. Follow my lead. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, stamina would have to do with health, and then um, the, whatchamacallit, the offensive would be his attack. Well, then that's all for today. I think that makes more sense, right? To go with health. That way... No, but, um... I'm pretty sure his attack is like two. I'm sorry. He's gonna solo me every time. Just you wait, say. Girl, don't be so confident. Like, I, I'm not feeling good about this. How is that child doing? Do you mean Kai? I feel like this is gonna be Mr. Chidoin. Oh! Never mind. Who the hell is this? The hair reminds me of Midori, right? Especially that, like, little tail end over there. Could this be Midori's mom? That would be crazy. But it could be, um, it could be, what's her name? Safalin? I forget. I don't really know what her previous name was. But Tia Safalin, right? Because we know that she was a researcher into positive emotions. And Gashu was researching negative emotions. And they together had created Rio Ranger. So maybe this could be her? Incorrect Gashu. The one you took in. Hey, he's absolutely stellar. You don't look too happy about it, considering. No, that's not. Hmm. Does he want Kai to win, after all? Hmm. The biased affection of a parent creates tragedy. This definitely seems like Tia Safalan. Never mind, um, she's in- she's talking about negative emotions. I mean, positive emotions, not negative. That's- this is really interesting. <sighs> Jesus, I said it again. This is really- I don't know what else to use. It is, right? Because there's a lot more nuance here rather than Gashu not caring about Kai or Rio Ranger at all, right? There is an inherent tragedy here because even though Gashu is so hard on Kai, he still loves him to a certain extent. He loves him as much as he is capable of loving anyone. Children are delicate creatures, Gashu. That can't be Bidori's mom, right? Pam, I honestly, I never gave much thought about like Midori's familial situation. I just imagined he just sprang from existence one day. That's how cursed he is. <laughs> ah, it seems those two are training outside. Hmm. Teacher, what's the next task? I'll undergo it too. You're still at it? You too. You're gonna die like that, I mean it. <laughs> then, then, uh, then let's bring him an early death, huh? As if I'd die before you, big brother. What was that, bastard? Stop it already. Fine, what do you want to learn next? I want to learn- oh, Don't ask me, I'm so bad at this. I feel like going with health would be good because then it won't be like a one-hit KO. 
But if I only have one attack, it's gonna take me so much more time to hurt him. But also, because Say is also learning, then his stats are gonna go up too. Jesus. Okay, just give me offense. This sucks. <laughs> I'm so bad at this kind of like, at stat raising stuff. All right, attack training it is. Ready yourself. Well then, that's all for today. Thank you very much. You too. Ah, oh, father. Did you come to watch us train, dad? Right. An executive came to visit today and offered the greatest praise for you. Executive? Almost makes me think that is Midori's mom. But then how did he grow up to be such a freak? Heh <laughs> Really? All right. What did you think, father? Oh, he cares about what he thinks. He doesn't give a shit about what anyone else thinks. This will not cut it. You can grow further still. Rather, both of you can. Heh, <laughs> that's right. I'm gonna be way more amazing than somebody like Kai, for sure. I'm not letting you beat me either. Uh, sir. I have ho I have high hopes for you, Kai. Say. Aww. I definitely did the better job showing my stuff today, don't you think? <clears throat> Big brother. You haven't been speaking to father with respect. Huh? Call him father. Use proper language. He never tells me I gotta do that. Jeez, that's a weakling for ya. Scrabbling for a way to... Scrambling for ways to score points even where it doesn't matter. What? What? I gotta beat you senseless again for you to get it? Ugh. You're just... You were always just an outsider, and yet... Mm-mm. I bet Say has a chip on his shoulder about that. Fine, I get you. You really want a butt-kicking, huh? I'll spoil you rotten, my useless little brother. This dynamic, I actually kind of like it. I mean, it's very toxic and sad for both of them, but at the same time, it's really interesting from a narrative standpoint. It sucks that, you know, we never got to see Rio Ranger and Kai interact with each other within the game itself, you know, because um, Kai was already dead by then. I'd like to see what that, you know, interaction would look like. Okay, second battle. Here we go. Let's lose again. Oh, his stayed the same. Okay, so we're on an even playing ground. Let's go. Let's go for the legs. Oh my god! Uh-oh. Um... Torso? Jesus! Oh my god. Okay, head? Not too shabby, bastard. My turn. Oh, no. Torso! Oh, come on. This is too pathetic. Again. Ugh. Such a weakling. His face looks so intriguing here. Why does he look almost sad when he says that? You're weak. You're weak, and yet... I have a feeling he knows that Gashu likes Kai more than he likes him. Seeing that Kai was first, he is related to Gashu. And there is a dynamic there, there's a relationship there that Seg is never going to be able to be a, become a part of because he's not actually related to Gashu. And he's only been brought in Likely to drive Kai to do better in a way? Possibly. At least be strong, would ya? Hmm. So he wants him to be strong. I guess that would make more sense to him. If Kai was someone who's strong, then it would make sense why Gashu seems to love Kai more. That's how I see it anyway. If it's gonna be this way, then what even am I? I'm just, at any rate, I'm just a tool for you to use. Right. I think that's what Say knows. He realizes that he's kind of just supposed to be 
a way for Kai to grow stronger and become better. He's essentially incentive for Kai to become the kind of son that Gashu wants. If there's competition, then Kai will give his all in training in a way that he hasn't before. No matter how hard I try, I'll just be a pawn. Say? Oh, okay. They're just gonna... <laughs> Nankidai is just gonna lay it out for us. I'm a rival brought in to raise you up. I knew that from the start. Oh, he's crying. I feel a little bad for him now. He's a gremlin, but you know, he's still a kid. And it's still a difficult situation to put him in. It's not like he invited me into the family because he wanted to. No one's seriously looking at the likes of me. Some... some dad he is. So I feel like Sei is really trying to force that connection to Gashu by being so... I don't... like... what Kai sees as disrespect, Sei sees as a way to grow closer to Gashu. Because he calls him dad and pops an old man, he's trying to force a connection that's not really there. And in a way feel feel like he actually is the one who Gashu loves more. He he's dead. My pops. My real dad. All the shady organization crap. It's so stupid. Pops, you should have died sooner. <laughs> what? If you can't meet anymore, then you should have died before I was born, you bastard. Aww. Say. You guys should just be besties. Legitimately. It's a losing game anyway, so why play? But obviously that's not gonna happen. Sorry. Why you gotta apologize? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, say. I felt like I was hearing Say's real voice for the first time. You could do nothing but fight. You wanted recognition for never losing. I get it. Because I wanted recognition for winning. And yet we've lost every single battle. <laughs> Hey, say. What the hell is it? Father, he stripped. Yeah. So his moments of kindness are very few. That's why. I didn't want even those short moments to go to someone else. Yeah. Affection. A thing with no physical form. And yet, perhaps we were both starved for it. Looks like I win today. Don't be stupid. We've still got two tasks left. I feel like they've become closer now. Man, what's gonna happen if they are close? What's gonna drive them apart? Hmm. Won't you give in, say? I'm gonna make you weep, Kai. <laughs> then let's give this next one our all. I have a feeling Gashu is not going to like this development. He's probably going to be the one to drive them apart again. You two look energetic. Father, yes. Yeah, well... Hmm. Say, have you gotten a bit taller? Huh? G good eye. But of course. I'm always watching you after all. Great, so now he's going to freaking do this shit. Come on now. <laughs> He's blushing. This is so sad. Don't be embarrassing. Let's go, Kai. Yeah. Right. Take care. Hmm. Hold on, you two. Yes? Um. It seems I may be able to get a rare holiday. Only for one day, but... What? Let us go on an outing somewhere. As a family. I don't trust this. I do not trust this. But it could be like a nice rare moment between the three of them. Before, you know, the story happens. Really? Alright, 
I'm so pumped. <clears throat> Very well then, that's enough talk. Get to your training now. Yes, sir. Huh. Perhaps I'll re-examine my schedule. No, don't smile. What's going on? I don't like this. It's too cute. So you see, Kai and Sei have undeniably grown to be essential assets to the organization. Wonderful work. These results exceed those of any other house. House? Hello? Hello? What does this mean? What are houses? What is this? Does this have to do with the crime families? Those two may just... I don't doubt they'll be first-class assassins. So, regarding the matter of our holiday... He's not gonna get one, baby girl. I already know it. Gosh, you. Yes? When someone is first-class, you don't need to. There may come a time for trial meant to test assassins. Trial? Like what? My, are you not familiar? This music! I don't like this. I can't remember, is this Midori's music? Because if this is, that means that this is probably his mother. Why do you think we began raising assassins from a variety of houses at all once? Um, you're guessing at all, all at once. Was it not to form a powerful group with which to take root in the underworld? Uh-oh. Don't do that. It's reminding me too much of Midori. Surely you jest. We've long since taken root. What we require is a powerful right-hand man. And indeed, one needs only one right hand. I don't understand what you're saying. Oh, but I'm sure you do, Gashu. There should be no cause for fear, you know? You- Ugh. I get why he looks this way, but it makes me very upset. He has blue eyes? Okay. Do you plan to have my sons kill each other? Man, look at the emotion in this sprite. You can tell that even though he doesn't show it to them, he does care about them. I mean, obviously, he looks horrified at the thought of having them fight each other to the death. I wonder if that happens. Is that why Say becomes Rearranger? Although Kai said that he was unable to kill anyone and that's why he couldn't become an assassin. So I wonder what when that happens. Is it because he kills Say and then after that he can't bring himself to kill anyone else? You know, because of that trauma? That would make sense. Not me. The organization does. This is Midori's mom. Like, I'm almost... 80% sure of it now. Gathering assassin candidates from each family. A single assassin shall be decided upon. From each family. Crime family. Let's go. Whether they're able to kill another human. That is the final and most essential quality we need. I can't support this. Surely the more talented assets you have, the better. Oh, gosh, you. Don't tell me you would defy the organization? It would seem you will raise them with considerable affection. Your true royalty. Royalty. Your true. Lo Ugh, your true loyalty is now being tested. The organization is God. Yes? Isn't that right? Ew. Jesus. This is the worst sprite yet. God is preparing to offer you a fantastic seat. You and your family. However, should you defy God, their blood will surely spill. Go on. Make your choice. Will you perish in fear of God's power? Or devote yourself to him and become a hero? All right. If she is Midori's mom, then it makes sense why he became the way that he did, because this is demonic. This lady girl boss, for real. Choose, Gashu. Oh, okay, do not zoom in. I don't need that. Oh my god. This is like a jump scare.
Uh oh. What does he choose? I wonder. Ah! <laughs> Stop. Damn it. I'll kill you. Jesus, this is like the Hunger Games or something. Stay. Where? I'm here. Thank goodness. You're alive? Let's run, say. Let's get off this island. Why? What do you mean, why? You don't know? They... They've all gone insane. That one in the green clothes back there. He killed someone. The others killed each other. I've killed two people already. Jesus. Stay. The hell, man? This ain't the time to suggest fighting together, is it? Idiot. Assassins don't need to murder each other like this. There's no reason to take part in this. Then where are you gonna live? Where am I? We were trained to kill people. If we aren't able to kill, our life has no value. That's... Oh, he doesn't want to do this, but he's so messed up, he feels like he has no choice. I'll kill you. If you're that torn up over it, then I'll take you out, you bastard. Say, don't spout such... Ugh. Say, don't spout such foolish things. What's the problem? You're worthless right now. Get ready to die. Oh, like he... I'm sure he feels conflicted about this as well, deep down. But he doesn't, he doesn't want to face that weakness, if that makes sense. Maybe he sees this almost as like a mercy killing too. You know, if Kai can't bring himself to kill, maybe it's better to just kill him instead. <laughs> you know, put him out of his misery. It's a real battle would say, girl, I'm going to die. I'm going to die for real. Okay. Jesus. All right, here we go. Oh my god, that's it. It's over. My turn. Um... My head? Oh, hell yeah, brother. What if, like, neither of us? I'm gonna do it again. Oh! Ah! This... How am I supposed to win? Legs? Oh, I feel like no matter what you choose, maybe you're going to be evenly matched. Oh, never mind. I lied. Ugh. My turn. Oh, can I win this? That's going to be crazy. That's going to be a plot twist. Erk. Uh-oh. I'm not done yet. Stop it already. I... You... I don't want to kill you, say. Mm. Lately, you've always been like that. You and Dad, too. They were a happy family for, like, two seconds. Ever since those holiday plans he promised fell through. Dad became cold all of a sudden. He had us do the most hellish training. He stopped treating us like humans. Even though not too long ago, he was the kind of guy to give us cake. Yeah, tiramisu, the worst type of cake. Please, don't speak ill of father. Damn, he's still programmed to love him, eh? He simply imposed a higher level of training on us, that's all. That's wrong. He started earnestly teaching you alone. Jeez, that's tough. So once he realized that they had to kill each other, he kind of still wanted Kai to win, even though he loved them both. You were doing the same training, but it was different. It definitely was. When he was teaching you, Dad, Dad... That's not... Well, fine. So that's why... That's why I can't beat you anymore, Kai. But in talent. In effort. I'm not inferior to you, Kai. I haven't been bested. Say! Stop. Stop looking down on me. 
you know, maybe this is just how Sei sees it, right? He thinks that Gashu chose Kai over him, just as how he thinks that Kai is looking down on him. That's not actually the case. It's just his own insecurities that are getting in the way. Don't you dare go easy on me. Kai, I thought you, at least you, would actually look at me. Take this seriously. I, I don't really... My life doesn't matter. Uh-oh. Say, watch out. Uh-oh. Hmm, that CG looks a little off, right? Like, why is the knife... <laughs> why is the knife, like, over him like that? Like, is that supposed to be sticking out? Is it coming out? Is it, like, slicing him across the chest? Anyway, I knew his ass was gonna die. I mean, that's how Rear Ranger gets made. Uh-oh. Gah. Damn, did he cut his, like, head off? Don't mock me. Damn it. If I just offed you two, I would have been the winner. Mom, I'm sorry. Say. Say. No, a wound like this. Uh oh. Oh man. I always thought it'd end up like this. Dying a damn miserable death, still without anybody's recognition. Still inferior to you. Don't speak. I'll I'll find a way to treat this. Hey, Kai. Could you kill me yourself? Jesus! How much more trauma do you want to give this kid? He's already got too much trauma, he's gonna explode! Just kinda feels like he wouldn't feel as lonely that way, man. I... Okay, I'm glad they didn't give me the choice. I don't know what I would choose. I embrace Say in my arms. Huh? Kai, am I really gonna die? I'm scared. It's scary, Kai. Kai. Oh, so instead of killing him, he just hugged him. Soon his voice faded. Just barely, I could still hear his breathing. A quiet sound, nearly erased by the wind. And that breath, too. After a swell that sent leaves into the air, I found it had vanished. Yikes. You've done it, Gashu. With this, you will be able to conduct a duty that is close to God indeed. How does it feel having served your God? Can't wait to see how fucked up he looks. Jesus. God. Alrighty. <laughs> Aw, he lost his son. I really do feel like Sei was just projecting his insecurities onto Gashu and Kai. So Gashu did come to love Sei as well. I mean, he stood up for him when he was told that they were going to have to kill each other. And I think he referred to them as his sons. So I definitely think he wanted both of them to come out of this, even if he knew that was impossible. So he just did his best to train them both as much as he could, because that's all he was capable of doing. He didn't have it within himself to betray the organization, but at the same time, he wanted to do whatever he could for his children. Yet he still distanced himself from them, because he knew that it was going to hurt, no matter what the outcome was. Either only one of them survives, or both of them die. It's not looking good either way. So he was hoping that by treating them as almost inhuman, he could kind of cut himself off from how distressing it would be after one or both of them died. And obviously it did not work. Like, he is going through it. <laughs> this lady, she has to be Midori's mom. She is a psychopath, just like him. You're happy, aren't you? Yes. 
This is the will of God. I have done the right thing. He is destroyed. He is just like a husk of a man. I wonder why he created Rearranger. I'm guessing he creates Rearranger after Kai essentially gives up on becoming an assassin because he still needs to have his successor or whatever. Exactly. You have done well. Believe. Yes. My heart is with Asunaru. I mean, at this point, it makes sense that he puts his chips in with Asunaru. He's done, like, the worst thing a father can do, pretty much. He's sacrificed both of his sons to this organization. If he were to give up or betray Asunaru now, that would mean that his quote-unquote sacrifice of his sons was for nothing. And I feel like that would really destroy him if he admitted to himself that he had done the wrong thing and he essentially let Say die. Wow, I was not expecting Nan Kadai to get me to actually care even marginally for Gashu or feel bad for him in any capacity. He's done it again, seriously. Like consistently, that is what Nan Kadai does, right? With every character that you see, even if you start off by hating them, Eventually, Nan Kudai gets you to see that everything isn't so black and white within this game. Even if this character does really reprehensible, morally questionable, and terrible things, they're still a human being, and they're still somebody who has hopes, feelings, regrets, and all of that is what makes them who they are. So even if you do hate them, you still feel some kind of sympathy or empathy for them. Like, for instance, Gashu now. I feel bad for him. It sucks what he went through, but ultimately I do still think he did the wrong thing. And it's so intriguing to see what he becomes, right? Eventually he kills, say, for a second time, and he does it without really giving a shit. Because I guess by that point he's just completely shut himself off from his emotions. He's just dead inside by that point. Except for Midori too, by the way. <laughs> Everybody has... Nankudai basically makes you feel sympathy for pretty much every character except for Midori. He's like, Midori can choke. That guy is actually as terrible as he seems. He is unrepentant. Which I'm guessing like, he kind of became that way because of the environment he was in and the parents that he had. If this lady who Gashu has been speaking with, if this executive is his mother, then it makes a lot of sense why he became the way that he did. Haha. <laughs> right then. You ought to get your appearance in proper order, Gashu. Yeah, basically she's saying you look like shit. <laughs> Kai. Think only of your duty. Discard all unnecessary feelings. Yes. Oh shit! Look at that. He's older now, but his hair is exactly the same. Obey the organization and be honored to devote yourself to it. Your life exists for the organization. I understand. Alright, Kai. I shall present you your first duty. Now we're going to go back. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, I made it to the present day still being unable to kill anyone. Yeah, I, I don't think he actually killed a single person, even when all the assassins were pretty much thrown together on an island, like the Hunger Games pretty much, and told to kill each other. He still didn't kill anyone. You know, he didn't kill another assassin. He wasn't able to kill Sa uh, Sei. Sai? Oh my god, what did I decide? Say. And he's probably like traumatized by what happened, so makes sense. As hard as I tried, I kept remembering the sight of Say's death. Sai? Jesus. Sai and Kai, that would be kind of cute. I see. A coward and a weakling. That is what I am. If I had been aware of my own foolishness from the beginning, perhaps such tragedy would not have unfolded. Nor would I have aimed to be a first-class killer. That's wrong. Say protected you. 
so you didn't have to stain your hands with blood. It's the reason you're here now, being so kind. Aww. That's true, yes. Aww. Is this his- Is this the first sprite we've seen of him smiling? I swear I haven't seen this before. Well, Sarah's gonna be coming home soon. Oh my. I shall hurry to make dinner then. Yep, please do. Thanks for talking to me, Kai. Perhaps I should make a cake on occasion. Oh no, not the cake! If he makes a tiramisu, I'll really cry. Kai Sato episode, The Young Assassin, end. Wow. What to say? Um, this seems almost like... I'm pretty sure this is the room from... I didn't even mention the background <laughs> before. I realized just as I started playing the episode that I never even brought up this background that we can see here. It looks like this is... Or well, this seems very similar to um, the bar, right? That is in the facility where we first start the game on the first floor. Except instead of having alcohol, there is coffee cups. This looks more like a cafe than a bar. But they still have that chalkboard or whatever. Except this one is completely empty. That was actually really good. I mean, I knew that it was going to be interesting. <sighs> Can I stop? <laughs> I knew that it was going to be... A really good episode. I knew that I was really going to enjoy it, but I just wasn't aware of how much it was going to make me rethink Kai and Gashu's relationship with each other, as well as Rearranger. Like, we knew that Rearranger was, was basically a stand-in for Kai after he not defects, but is unable to be the assassin that everyone expected him to be. But I had no clue that he had a relationship with Rearranger. I mean, technically he doesn't because Rearranger is a doll and was based on Sei, but there's still a story there between them. I have completely... All the thoughts that I had about Gashu I have been flipped. I mean, we didn't really know much about him to begin with, except that he's fiercely loyal to Asunaro to the point that he doesn't care about anything else, including himself. Yeah, I wonder... I'm sure that a part of him still cares about Kai and Rio Ranger to an extent. He must have, some part of him must have been sad once he realized that Kai died. Although he killed Rio Ranger point blank, so maybe not. Then again, I feel like there might have been some kind of disconnect between him and Rio Ranger to begin with because he's not exactly a complete copy of Sei. But you can tell that he still cared about Sei to that day because of the fact that Rio Ranger was made to be like to look exactly like him not just that but look like him I think Rio Ranger was created to look like how Sei would have been if he was still alive right because the Sei that Kai and Gashu knew died when he was a kid and Rio Ranger is clearly older than that I would probably put Kai and Rio Ranger to appear to be the same age so yeah, I wonder I wonder more about like the circumstances of Rearranger, why they created him and what purpose he had. Was it just to be a replacement for Kai? I don't think he's an assassin, but maybe? I don't know. It's really interesting regardless. And yeah, just like possibly Midori's mother said, it is a tragedy that what became of them. You know, they started off very rocky, but after a while it seemed like they could have been a you know, a good family, even if they were very, um, not the most conventional one, right? I also wonder what happened to Kai's mother. There's no mention of her. Did she just die? <laughs> but that's, you know, a staple of so many different, so many different stories and narratives. The mother is usually just dead or missing and there's no real mention of her. Regardless though, um, I feel like I learned a lot more about the structure of Asunaro as well. Why were they looking for an assassin anyway? What? And why was the assassin meant to be the right-hand man for, I'm guessing, the leader of Asunaro? And we got more, um, more of a description on Asunaro and how it works. Not a lot, but, you know, it's still, it's still something. 
So we know that there are houses, we know that there are different families that were competing against each other, I believe, for the spot. You know, America's, no, Japan's next top assassin. That ended up being Kai. Although he won without killing anybody, which you'd think that Asunara would have a problem with that, that their top assassin is someone who has yet to kill anybody. But I don't think anything that we learned strictly went against the memorandum theory. I'll have to sit and think more about it, but I feel like it all seems to be leading to a certain direction. It seems like there are still crime families within Asunaro, but now maybe they're different houses? And that's how I always imagined the structure of Asunaro to be, that there are different crime families within it, and they're all sort of vying for more power within the organization. And I am interested to see more about this executive. Is she going to show up? I'm guessing that she's a woman, I don't know. I can't remember if her gender was even mentioned actually, I'm just assuming. <laughs> but um, from the mannerisms and the way that she spoke, and also the, you know, the audio cues as well, it seems very likely, I want to say, that she is Midori's mother. And perhaps we're going to see her in the final part. I'm guessing that we will. That's why, you know, she was just a silhouette. And we'll probably learn more about her, which I'm excited about. But yeah, that was that was really, really fun. And I enjoyed it, even though the fighting aspect of it was not the best. I failed miserably, except at the end. And part of me feels like no matter what, you were going to win that fight against Say. But I want to say that, you know, I won fair and square and that was all me. And, you know, just like Kai, I managed to get better at Jesus. I don't even know the terminology for this though. The mini game. So originally I was going to go on and look at Anzu and Alice's mini episodes within this video, but now I feel like I want to make them into three separate videos just because I'm not sure how long this one is going to be. It feels like I've been recording for at least an hour. So who knows? Who knows how how long this video will be once I'm finished editing it. And I want to make sure it's not too long. I don't want it to become another two hour affair just because it's going to take a long time to edit and get to you guys. And also because I want to make sure that I can release this video in a timely manner. So hopefully you all don't mind if I end this video here instead of continuing with Anzu and Alice. We'll definitely get to them in the next video. I might play them together if Anzu's mini episode isn't as long as this video is gonna be. But if it is, then, you know, there'll be three separate videos which might be good in the, in the long run. You know, more content for you guys to watch more opportunities for you to give your opinions on what you just saw. I would love to know your thoughts about Kai's mini episode. Did you agree with certain points I made? Do you disagree? Is there anything that you noticed which I didn't bring up? Feel free to go ahead and leave a comment down below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more. And yeah, so this is where we're going to end it. The next video should be part two of the Let's Replay series, followed by more content surrounding these mini episodes. So fingers crossed, I'll see you all very soon. Take care.